Good afternoon, everybody. It is Friday, October 7th, at about just short of being two in the afternoon. Got a little disgusted with the way my dice are flying through the air, so I thought I would try to do just a <clears throat> 36 throws and work on the basics, the grip, the toss, the release, landing zone, okay? And, and bring you along. We're going to mark. I'm going to use white chips. I'm going to mark everything that we throw. If we get a seven, I'm going to put it here in this little box. And if we get any horn, um, two, three, 11, or 12, I'm going to put it, mark them in the field, okay? But we've got 36 chips. And, we, and we're going to throw a 3-2, three, 3-2 two, three, two dice set <clears throat> and go from there. I don't care about come out roll. I don't care about points. I don't care about anything else. I just want to look and see whether my dice are together when I release them. I'm releasing them at the right point and they're landing in close to my landing zone. Okay, so three, two, three, two, dice are out. <clears throat> that is a hard four. Make sure we focus in on that. Take a white chip, put it on the four. That toss, they separated a little bit. So I think that has to do with the grip. Just a little bit too tight. They're not coming off even. So dice are out. Three, two, three, two. That is a six, one, seven. They separated and had no rotation on them at all. Dice are out. Three, two, three, two, dice set. That was I felt was a good toss. Came up as a hard eight. Dice stayed really close together. Minimum had some rotation, but not too much. Three two, three two dice set, dice are out. This is a three two five. Three two five. So we've only had one toss off axis. That was our six one seven, so not too bad. Three two, three two dice up. Dice are out. Is a three four seven and on axis seven is a double pitch. But the dice didn't stay together, so when they're uneven like that, it doesn't take too much to get that seven. Two, five, seven. Another on axis seven. I don't like it. I'm not. Dice are not coming out the way they need to. So there's something in the release. Dice are out. That was better. Five four nine. Five four nine. Three. 
314, 314. One die led the other, so that's got to be a problem in the release. They're not, they're not coming off of the fingers evenly. 3-2, three, 3-2 two, three, two dice set. Bad toss. God, that just... It's amazing how sometimes you just, they're, they're going so well and then other times you just can't do anything. But it's normal. That was a 12. 6-6-12. Six, six, That was better. Four two six. Four two six. Five four nine five four nine. Still, one guy is leading the other one, and I don't like that. So, either I'm twisting my wrist somehow, dice are out three two three two dice set. That was better. It was a 257, but I didn't see much rotation on the dice. So. Three, two, three, two dice set. Better. Better three two five three two five This is a good when you feel that something is not right, go back to the basics. This is also gonna help you feel what your SRR is. And if you don't know what SRR means, it's it says seven between seven, seven ratio. That was a six. And SOR is a seven out ratio, which means you can have a come out seven that since that doesn't if you're playing the light side, that's not gonna hurt you. Seven SRR is seven to rolls ratio. That felt better. Hard 10. Hard 10. So what we are trying to do is if we can show that we can, our 7 to rolls ratio is above a 6, then we feel pretty confident that we can at least throw five times without throwing a seven. That is a one, five, six bad throw. Um, throw five times, collect your money, and then go again. If you can do that, you might not win as much, but you're also not risking as much. Dice are out. That felt better. A little short on the landing zone, though. Two, six, eight. 
but they hit the deck of the playing field, hit the back wall, and with not much energy. So they didn't have a lot of chance to go truly random. 3-2, three, 3-2, two, three, two, dice set. Dice are out. Six three nine six three nine and I've got to get back to the basics and the dice are out. There we go. Six five yo six five yo had one die go off axis, but I you know throw in a hard way set. If only one die goes off axis, you never hit a seven. So I don't worry about it too much. I want to see the dice together when they leave my hand, traveling towards my focus in on my landing zone. Yeah, that one felt good. Looked good. A little high in the air, but it came out okay. Four, two, six. Three, two, three, two dice set. Dice are out. No, no rotation at all, and they just split wide apart. Two, six, eight. Two, six, eight. Didn't like that toss at all. So, three, two, three, two dice. If you hear that whining in the background, that's a YouTube channel called Guilty of Treason. A tree service guy, so it's a chainsaw. Dice are out. There we go. I try to have something on in the background like this because I enjoy the video, but I need to have the the noise trying to distract me just as the noise in a casino tends to distract people. So I work on my concentration. There's a one, six, seven. They had no rotation on them at all. And they split apart. So we had a good run there. Not a fantastic run. Six six twelve. Again, no rotation. But I liked how they were traveling through the air. As far as staying staying together, but very little rotation. I wish I knew what it is. I asked uh, Howard Rock and Roll Newman how he does. He has a deeper. Um, he's got bigger hands though. He's got a deeper di um, grip. That felt better. One, four, five. One, four, five. Three, two, three, two, dice set. Three five eight, three five eight. A little strong that five kind of ricocheted. Hit the other die and it just kind of bounced. 
Three two, three two dice set. I like that one better. Four two six. Three, four, seven on axis seven. But it felt good. One die led the other one, but slight only by a slight amount. Three, two, three, two dice set. Dice are out. Five. Four nine five four nine three two three two dice set Three one four, three one four. I gotta figure out what it what it is that's making my die one one die lead the lead the other one. So it's got to be in the release. There we go. Three two five. Three two five. That flipped, but that was a five. There we go. Three two. Three two. Five one six. Five one six. Dice are out. That's the shot I want, but it turned out to be a three four seven. But that was the prettiest shot I had. Now it's a matter of hitting that landing zone just right. Let's see if we can repeat that toss. Three two three two dice set. Four six ten. Four six ten. A little bit hard. But they left the hands correct. Three two three two. Dice are out. Two five seven. I don't. Uh, one die got ahead of the other one, and what I mean by one die got ahead of the other one is like this. If a three traveling through the air, one die is. They're, they have the same amount of spin, but one gets slightly 
leading and the other one is already turning so that the only to get a seven all you have is one rotation and you're there so you want them to hit at the same time in your landing zone and then only pitch once instead of a double pitch there we go five one six okay so that was our last throw and as you can see we're no better than a random thrower because we had eight sevens probabilities say that we should have only had six but we only had three horns didn't have any twos or threes three fours four fives eight sixes four eights four nines two tens one yo and two twelves so I think I may have found what I'm doing so the next few videos are just going to be practicing that dice and getting it back to a comfortable stage but thanks for watching this is for dice practice so you know trying to control it and the key word is try anyway thanks for the new subscribers please feel free to hit that thumbs up or leave a comment and uh, hope everybody takes care stay safe god bless we'll see you on the next one